All right, so uh, I think you were having an issue with the auto attendant where the user would dial, they'd reach auto attendant, and then they had to reach emergency uh, mailbox, and that mailbox would have to be, well, the voicemail from that mailbox would have to be mailed off to someone, I believe. Um, so I'll show you how that's done. Um, first, you'll have to, since you're not going to use an actual phone, we'll use like a dummy IP communicator so as you can see here um, you'll just go to users and phones you'll add a user and then for the MAC address um, and for the phone type you'll select CIPC and then for the MAC address you're just gonna you're just gonna enter any old MAC address here I don't think it will accept all zeros so what you'll have to do, you just have to put a four A's at the end. Um, you'll give it an extension like this. Make it say like emergency line for the button label. You'll never see the button label, but you can give it anything. You'll have to give it a first name and last name, uh, password, make it a normal line. And then uh, you can do, and then you'll enable voicemail for that line also. Now, it will always, you can do the call forward timeout to less, but this phone will always go to voicemail since it's offline so since it's not plugged in and it's not active on the network no matter who dials this extension it will always go to voicemail so once you've enabled that once you've created that phone you will go into um, I think you can go to either or auto attendant or voicemail um, what you'll do You'll go to voicemail. Uh, make sure the six is enabled. This is with six that we're referring to to enable direct transfer to voicemail. So make sure that six is enabled. You're going to do, um, you know, all the authentication for the voice for the uh, for the voicemail to email. Just make sure this box is checked off. Make sure you check off 24 hours. Uh, enable, you know, email notification uh, and anything else. Um, then you'll go to notification. You're going to add the user in here to 30. Then you're going to notify the user of the voicemail. Then you're going to set it set it up to whatever um, mailbox that you like that can forward you know that email or that message off to many users. Um, then you're going to attach the voicemail to the email. Then you're going to select all voicemail. And that that will set it up so that any voicemail that's left is going to be sent off to this email address. Once that's done, you're just going to hit OK, and that will apply. Um, now for the auto attendant, uh, you're going to select any option, any button option. Um, so when when the voicemail or when the auto attendant message comes on is going to say let's say press six if this is an emergency um, I wonder if you can do transfer to voicemail yeah you could do transfer to voicemail too so it'll just go transfer to voicemail um, and this will go right to the emergency at the, the emergency lines voicemail box now to record the prompt on this mailbox I think you'll have to dial the extension and then hit star or pound um, and then it, it should and then it might take you through the the greetings like as if you're setting up the mailbox for the first time and then from there go through the prompts and then change the way the greeting happens because the default greeting will say start will say sorry um, the name that you recorded and then it'll say this extension is not available or is not available so make sure you do the, the the correct greeting so that it displays whatever message um, that you have to say. And <clears throat> as far as schedules go, you don't have to worry about a schedule for the auto attendant because we aren't setting up as a schedule. We're just pointing to it, you know, whenever we like. So uh, you don't have to worry about setting up a schedule for it. Let me see.